So theoretically, I should be able to survive anything. Right. Please see how to play Portal Part 2 if you haven't already. Thank you. Next up, um, how to play Portal. The actual companion cube. Okay. Now this step is hard, but don't worry, I'll show you. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you timing is important. What's so important about that? Why does GLaDOS tell you that it cannot stab you? It, it, it clearly can't. It's a cube with a heart on it. Now, to this day, I still can't figure out exactly where to place it. There you go. Sometimes I place the wrong part and I have to do it again. Uh, place it right here. Now we're gonna wait for electronic ball to get over here. Okay. Perfect. Oh shoot, while I was going to the other room. Uh, the ball launch or got to me again and then hit all of the walls there kind of worried me now this one you just uh, change the ball's direction like a mirror perfect that's not important gives me advice I know one informed me of this. Any time now? Perfect. Alright, so we're gonna take this companion cube. That's not supposed to happen. There we go. You did it. The way his companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test, and unfortunately, nothing is emerged. Hmm. Place a cube there. It burns. Oh dear. <laughs> hurry, 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 before it closes. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No! Companion cube, no! only after we lose everything that we're able to do anything moving right along all right the experiment is nearing its conclusion the enrichment center i agree whenever i see this puzzle i or test chamber i start to think the game is about to end. We're approaching end, guys. There we go. Yeah. 
Not too hard, not too hard. Alright. And go over there. I need a cube to place on the door. So we go and get one. Into here. Now this one requires a lot of patience, so I'll try to make it not boring. Took me days to figure out. First we have to get rid of all of the robots. Or whatever they're called. <laughs> I like that. How did that make it not on the robot? <laughs> what? <laughs> now here's what we need to do next. I have to wait until that ball goes in there. Or then we have to quickly Okay. <coughs> it only opens for a few seconds. There we go. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can, can, can I make it? Yes! I'll place a portal there to save time. Oh. Hurry, hurry, quick, 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 quick. See, we're getting up here. That's the only way to get up here. Here for the platform. But, bam! I have to get back uh, there and be able to get to the other side of that. Quick, 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 hurry, 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 There we go. Perfect. Oh, this one is a fun one. requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. That's all right. For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, this is the final testing chamber. Test. Not the end of the game, though. Uh, we still have a while before the end of the game. Yeah, like, there's totally gonna be kicking out, right? This stage always frustrates me. Uh -huh. Get on the platform. Even though it's called portal, not platform. Alright. Open this up only for a few seconds, though. For like one second, then it closes. But don't worry, we have a, a way around it. Like, just shown. This one's this is quite an obstacle. Aha! Uh -huh. I've done it. It's out of the equation. You should just dodge it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. A wall. How am I supposed to get past that? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, 
Will let me through? Will you open up? Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. And I respawned only a couple seconds before I would die. Oh, thank goodness, I thought the electronic ball was going to kill me. If that doesn't kill me, something will. Great. What is that? Oh no! Are you going to incinerate me? What's the purpose in that? Why do you kill all your test subjects immediately after you're done? Why? No! Help me! Oh god, I'm sweating! That's no place to put a radio. Oh god, no! Roasted. But there's actually a way to get out of it alive. <laughs> Nobody has ever done that before, according to GLaDOS. Most people wouldn't survive that. Oh god. I did not mean to do that. Is that the radio that plays the uh, horror music? If I wait here for like forever, would the associate come? I never understood why the story has continued. Like, why can't you just get the cake there? Because the cake is a lie. And that hurt. No worry though. We have a portal gun. Shut up. I don't care. Now that way leads to nowhere. This is the way to go. Oh shoot, oh, I was so close to death there, oh my goodness. Now, I think they made this company on purpose just to make you confused. But I'll show you the way. Oh, if this were real life, I would fear that this walker would go down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like screwing with her. Uh, the office stuff. Can I smash the keys of that keyboard? I can't keep, pick up the tables, but I can pick up the chairs. <laughs> oh, How rude. The keys don't fall off. Never stand on a swivel chair. Same thing here. It can get a little complicated. It took me a while. Perfect. Your mom. That's what I'm doing. Ah. He was pushing me. And you don't actually have to move yourself. I'm not touching the mouse or keyboard right now. It's being done for me. And I always fear that a keyboard will come down and hit me, but that never happened. I would die. That's fine. I'm not a big fan of cake anyway. Yeah. I'm trying to follow the path that this is leading to. First, you go here. And up there. Kind of cool. Oh, yeah, this thing will 
kill you. You know what this machine looks like to me? Like a machine with really bad breath. When I'm ducking using this gun, I feel like I'm in the Vietnam War or something. Does anyone else feel that? Right now I'm in English class, I'm actually reading uh, Tim O'Brien, The Things They Carried, so that's why I made that analogy, because it's about the Vietnam War. Dang it. There we go. And that seems like a good place to stop. Subscribe for part four. It's not done yet. And at the very same time I was recording that video, let me show you. It's our snow. Or it am snow. Whichever pronoun, I mean verb, you would prefer. Look at that amazing snow. Isn't it amazing? In fact, it's just after midnight on Monday. And schools are closed for today. So I don't have to get up at 6. Look, okay, it's snowing down right now. It's very careful. I like this area. I'm glad we have it. And I love how on the railings the snow stacked up like a foot. Same thing on the birdhouse. And the temperature, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> what does this snow look like to you? To me, it looks like snow with really bad 